Good afternoon, students. Welcome to the next session on our subject that is basics of civil engineering, in which we are going to start a new topic that is nothing but the what are the modes of transportation and how it plays a vital role in the development of the country. So, whatever the different modes of transportation that we are having. Okay, so that modes of transportation, we are going to learn it. Already in our chapter number one, we have discussed it in detail, but still uh, there is a revision of this particular topic in our chapter number two also, modes of transportation in which we are going to discuss the different modes. And after that, we will heading towards the last point of our unit number two, that is ITS, Intelligent Transportation System. Okay, so, uh, without any further ado, let's begin with the session. In our previous session, if you take a small recap of our previous session, which we have discussed yesterday, I think day before yesterday also. So in our previous session, uh, we have studied the part of what are the sources of the water, what is hydrology, dams, their types and some introductory part. Okay, so that part we have already covered. up. Now, the remaining part is nothing but related with the highway engineering. Okay, as I told you in my previous session, uh, this unit number two is divided into the three different uh, subdomains of civil engineering sector. First is environmental engineering, in which we have gone through the WTPs, ETPs, and calculation of the carbon emission. Second part is water resource engineering, in which we have discussed with the sources of the water, what is hydrology, and then types of the dams and the introductory part related to that. Now let's move towards the last point, and that is highway engineering in which we are going to learn about modes of transportation. Now, as you can see on the presentation screen, the different mode, what is transportation at first? Tell me, how can you define this word? If you want to define it, transportation in one line only, yeah? in one line only, just tell me the definition. What is transportation? If you want to define it, the word transportation in one line, how can you define it? Yes. How can you define it? Anyone? See, I tell you, um, I tell you if you are not having the same idea. The two Hello, uh, yes. Good network. Good network. Uh, okay. So, how can you define the word transportation? Transportation is nothing but the to and fro motion of any object. If you want to define it in a single word, the to and fro motion of any object using a network. It may be good, bad, whatever we, we don't know, but using a network, we call it as the transportation. Okay, so as we know, basically there are four modes of transportation that you are familiar with actually. Okay, that major four modes of transportation are nothing but your roadways, railways, airways, and the waterways. Along with this, which part is included in the landways? That is your roadways and railways are the part of your landways that is constructed on the land, airways, we are going to use some aircrafts, waterways, we are going to use vessels or the big ships for our to and fro motion, correct? So whatever these modes of transportation, roadways, railways, airways, waterways, we are going to discuss this in detail, uh, some introductory part related to this. Yes, waterways, as you can see, uh, you can do, you can prepare any kind of waterway. As you know, waterways, we are having major oceans which are um, being surrounded, our water, our country has been surrounded with. Okay. So, if you uh, consider the seashore which is available to Maharashtra only, it is around uh, 7,500 kilometers. Okay. So, that much of seashore is available with us. I'm just discussing about our state, our state, Maharashtra. If you consider whole countries, uh, total topographical area. So, all three portions of our country, uh, that is your uh, I think western side, southern side, and eastern side, most of the part is been surrounded by the oceans. Okay, it's been surrounded by the oceans. So, waterways we are having, 
as uh, this is one nice diagram which I have taken it from the internet. Waterways, as you can see, the vessels or that big ships they can travel using the waterways. See, in this, see if you are going to see uh, what your mind is going to tell you, sir, it's a canal, and in this particular canal they have construct uh, that ship is traveling. Okay, in this particular canal, canal is what na pylon and the diagram madhe canal ahen ta canal chhe wadhe he ship tumsa travel karte. Okay. अशा खूप सारे वेज आहेत वेस्टर्न कंट्री आपल्याकडे असं बघायला भेटणार नाही तुम्हाला चित्र वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज मध्ये ठीक आहे जसे तुमचे रस्ते आहेत ना त्या पद्धतीने ते वॉटर त्यांनी डायव्हर्ट केलेला आहे आणि त्यातून त्या वेसेल्स द्वारे किंवा त्या शिप द्वारे ठीक आहे तुमचं मोशन होतं ठीक आहे ऑब्जेक्ट चे आता मी वेसेल हा शब्द यूज करतोय माझ्या डिस्क्रिप्शन मध्ये वेसेल म्हणजे नेमकं काय वेसेल म्हणजे मोठ्या आकाराची जहाज ठीक आहे जसं तुम्ही डायग्राम मध्ये बघू शकता पिक्चर मध्ये बघू शकता अ बिग साइज शिप एक मोठ्या साइज चे जहाज असतं त्याला व्हेसल असं म्हटलं जातं व्ही ई डबल एस ई एल व्हेसल ओके हा वॉटर इंजिनिअरिंग मध्ये वापरणारा शब्द आहे और यू कॅन यूज शिप यू कॅन यूज बोट्स स्मॉलर बोट्स ओके बोट्स आर स्मॉलर इन साइज शिप्स आर इन मीडियम साइज एंड व्हेसल्स आर इन लार्जर साइज ओके इफ यू वांट टू डिफाइन इट Waterways. So historically, the societies have always located near the water. Previously, in our past, um, maybe few eras. Okay, due partly to the fact that water enables the most efficient efficient travel compared to the land. Okay, waterways that are critically important to the transportation of the people and the goods throughout the world. Definitely. i will share i am going to share you some interesting digits regarding this modes of transportation how much uh, what can i say share that is been taken up by this waterways that means as we know we are having four modes of transportation like your roadways railways waterways and airways so out of that how much is consumed by the people maximum uh, utilized by the people what is everyone's answer definitely it's the roadway so along with the roadway how much contribution of the waterways or how much waterways are been utilized by the people for their business trading for their traveling again i am going to share some interesting facts with you okay and then they, you will surprise dear sir uh, i think this will be the best way that we are having okay that will be your opinion after this completion of the discussion so the transportation by the water is the slowest among four modes it's slowest among four modes but it needs the minimum energy this is very 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 important it needs the minimum energy to haul a unit load through a unit distance haul manje kay lift karne tala odne thik hai hauling jala mhantla jata thik hai so if you are using a vessel or a use, if you are using a ship the uh, as uh, petrol is been uh, required for your vehicle to travel so whatever the energy which is consumed by that ship or that vessel is very minimum very minimum and if you want to take a particular load from one position to another position definitely waterways these are the best ways but just problem is that they are going to take more time time consuming uh, mode of transportation as we can see okay but cheapest also but cheapest also again i am going to tell you how it is Uh, i will tell you one example uh, see whenever you are going to uh, lift a material and you have to transport it to a distance suppose um, you are taking the material from the mumbai okay and uh, transport it to the gujarat okay gujarat lai motha seashore hai so if you want to um, transport it to the gujarat okay or to the uh, west bengal okay so you can go with the roadways you can go with the railways you can go with the airways and also you can go with the waterways but if you compare the cost which is been required definitely you will find waterways are the cheapest one waterways are the cheapest one sir tumhala transportation la ata tumhi business trading karat asta tumhala mahit ahe ekada material jar transport karaycha asel tar tyacha varti khup sare taxes lagtat suppose tumhi pune an solapur la ekada parcel anle thik hai ट्रांसपोर्ट के लिए ट्रांसपोर्टेशन चार्जेस तुम्हारा भरावे लगते मटेरियल बरबर है जर तिथे तुम्हारा रोडवे जर तुम्हारा दह रुपये भराव लगते जस्ट एक्जाम्पल मैं देते बर का तुम्हारा ठीक है नतीन मंत्री सर दह रुपये कस का लगता है ठीक है जर तुम्हारा रोडवेज ने जर दह रुपये लगते डेफिनेटली 
जर तुम्ही वॉटरवेज जर यूज करत असताल तर ही कॉस्ट अगदी दोन ते तीन रुपयापर्यंत येते ठीक आहे इतकं स्वस्त आहे वॉटरवेज ठीक आहे जर एक रुपया तुम्हाला रोडवेजसाठी लागतो तर काही पैसेच खर्च करावे लागतात तुमच्या वॉटरवेजसाठी सो वॉटरवेज आर दी चीपेस्ट वेज बट ऑन दिस अदर हँड साईड दे आर टाइम इट्स अ टाइम कन्झ्युमिंग मोड ऑफ ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन दॅट वी आर हॅव्हिंग ठीक आहे वेळ लागतो अँड आय थिंक नथिंग इज इन अवर हँड इफ द विंड इज गोइंग गोइंग टू ब्लो व्हेरी फास्ट देअर मे बी टाईड फॉर्मेशन अँड द हाईट ऑफ द टाईड इज इट मे बी मोर दॅन वन मीटर्स ओके then then you will find it difficult to go with these modes of transportation okay so that is the drawback so every mode of transportation uh, when we will discuss further it you will come to know that each and every mode they are having some advantages on the other hand side they are having some drawbacks okay so we will discuss each and every one what are its advantages now if you want to learn it about it is relatively economical mode of the transport for bulky and heavy goods for bulky and heavy goods it is the safe mode of transportation with respect to the occurrence of accident yes definitely there is no collision between the two vessels or the two ships but if some natural calamities are going to happen then that is not in our hand yes definitely we can predict uh, that wind will going to blow uh, this will be the wind speed किंवा अजून थोड्या वेळाने पाऊस पडू शकतो हे तुमच्या ज्यावेळेस तुम्ही समुद्रातून सफारी करत असता ठीक आहे त्यावेळेस तुमचा जहाजाचा जो कॅप्टन असतो तर त्या कॅप्टनला तिथल्या टेम्परेचर कंडिशन तिथल्या ऍटमॉस्फेरिक कंडिशन बद्दल थरो नॉलेज असतं की जर तुम्ही आता ट्रॅव्हल करणार आहात तर वातावरण कसं आहे लाटाची निर्मिती होऊ शकते का भरती किंवा जोर जोरात वारे जोरात वारे वाहणार आहेत का त्याचा स्पीड का असू शकतो त्याचा तुमच्या ट्रान्सपोर्ट वरती इफेक्ट होऊ शकतो का सो ही इज हॅव्हिंग अ डिटेल्ड नॉलेज अबाउट दिस वॉट एव्हर द जर्नी दॅट यू आर गोइंग टू ट्रॅव्हल इट ओके सो दॅट इज वाय इट इज कन्सिडर्ड ॲज अ सेफ वन बट डेफिनेटली वी हॅव टू डिपेंड ऑन द नेचर ऑल्सो फॉर सम फॅक्टर्स ओके सो Uh, it is the set mid we, uh, as far as these occurrence of accidents are considered there is no head on collision no rear end collision head on manje samor samor dadu rear end manje pathi magun jaun dadakna theke asa ta kay hot nahi water base madhe and it is also relatively economical to transport the bulky and heavy goods this is again very important theke as i told you if you require 10 rupees uh, for uh, taking one material from pune to suppose solapur via road base at on the same platform you require just 2 to 3 rupees through 3 rupees to take that material from pune to solapur via waterways okay so that is why it is economical and another advantage we can carry a heavy load okay atu mantal sir jahaz madhe kuthe far load asto asa kai nahi if you are going to see vessel big ships theek hai bharat madhe je sagrat moti vessel kiwa ship ahe na theek hai tar tachi ji lambi ahe baga mi lambi sangto लांबी जी है इट इज अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर्स ठीक है तीनशे मीटर लांबी वेसल है अपने नहीं है ठीक है एंड देर कैरिंग कैपेसिटी बियॉन्ड आवर इमेजिनेशन ठीक है तुम्हारे एस टी मध्य तुम्हारा रिस्ट्रिक्शन है रोड्स मे लोड कैरी करना सा ट्रक चालीस पन्ना टक टना चुढ़ जाऊ शक नहीं तुम्हें ठीक है एक सींगल ट्रक मध्य ठीक है एक सींगल ट्रक मध्य परंतु एक सींगल वेसल मे ठीक है मोटा वेसल मे हीच कॅरिंग कॅपॅसिटी जी राहते ही जास्त राहते पन्नास शंभर ऐंशी दोनशे पाचशे टनापर्यंत कॅपॅसिटी असतात ठीक आहे जर कोणी कधी तुम्ही कोकण वारी केलेली असेल एखाद्या वेसलमध्ये किंवा शिपमध्ये बसला असताल ठीक आहे तिथे मोठमोठे जहाज बघितले असतील तुम्ही तर त्याची कॅरिंग कॅपॅसिटी बघा किती हेवी लोड ते माउंट करतात त्याच्यावरती ठीक आहे आपल्याकडे सध्या भारतामध्ये आठ इंटरनॅशनल हार्बर्स आहेत ठीक आहे खूप मोठी आहेत बॉम्बे हार्बर्स असेल गुजरात मध्ये सगळ्यात जास्त आहे कांडला वगैरे हार्बर्स ठीक आहे आता जे एन पी टी म्हणून एक नवीन झालेला आहे एक बत्तीस वर्ष जुना आहेत ऍक्च्युली बट कॅरिंग कॅपॅसिटी अँड तिथे जी माल वाहतूक होते ठीक आहे पाण्याद्वारे वॉटरवेजने सगळ्यात मोठी आहे ठीक आहे वेगवेगळ्या कंट्रीज मधून तिथे बिझनेस ट्रेडिंग चालत ठीक आहे जे एन पी टी जवाहरलाल नेहरू पोर्ट ट्रस्ट इट इज इन उरण नियर ठाणे ठीक आहे ठाण्यापाशी आहे हे उरणला आणि भारतातला सगळ्यात स्मॉलेस्ट नॅशनल हायवे इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेंथ हा भारतातला सगळ्यात स्मॉलेस्ट नॅशनल हायवे इन टर्म्स ऑफ लेंथ तो कन्स्ट्रक्ट केलेला आहे उरण ते ठाणे अठ्ठावीस किलोमीटरचा नॅशनल हायवे 
ठीक आहे ऍक्च्युली नॅशनल हायवे म्हणलं की आपल्या डोक्यामध्ये काय असतं त्या गावापासून त्या गावाला जोडणार आहे शंभर दीडशे दोनशे पाचशे किलोमीटरचा नॅशनल हायवे पण हा भारतातला सगळ्यात छोटा नॅशनल हायवे फक्त अठ्ठावीस किलोमीटर लेंथ आहे त्याची वरण पासून तुमच्या ठाण्यापर्यंत आहे तो ठीक आहे पनवेल पनवेलच्या अलीकडे नॉट एक्झॅक्टली टू वर्ड्स ठाणे पनवेल पशी पुढे तिथं पुणे मुंबई रोडला तो कनेक्ट होतो एक्सप्रेस वे ला ठीक आहे बत्तीस किलोमीटरचा आहे तो बत्तीस येस डेफिनेटली नॉट ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी टू किलोमीटरचा रोड ठीक आहे ऍडव्हान्टेजेस वर डिस्कसिंग येस अनदर ऍडव्हान्टेज द कॉस्ट ऑफ मेंटेनिंग अँड कन्स्ट्रक्टिंग द रूट तिथे तुम्हाला रोड बांधायचा आहे करे वॉटरवेज मध्ये नाही कुठल्याही प्रकारचा आपल्याला रोड बांधायचा नाही इट इज नॅचरली ऑफरिंग रोड वी आर हॅव्हिंग ठीक आहे वॉटर वेज वॉटर वेज द कॉस्ट ऑफ मेंटेनिंग अँड कन्स्ट्रक्टिंग द रूट इज व्हेरी लो ऍज मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर नॅचरली मेड अँड इट प्रोमोट्स द इंटरनॅशनल ट्रेड एज आय टोल्ड यू जेन पीट इज देअर कांडला इज देअर बॉम्बे पोर्ट ट्रस्ट इज देअर ओके सो दीज आर दी सम पोर्ट ट्रस्ट ऑर दी पोर्ट्स ऑर दी डॉक्स ऑर दी हार्बर्स वेअर टू इन ह्यूज पर्सेंटेज इंटरनॅशनल ट्रेडिंग इज गोईंग ऑन मालाची देवाण घेवाण होते ठीक आहे आणला जातो दुबईचा माल थ्रू दी वॉटर वेज हा भारतामध्ये आणतोय आणण्यात येतो ठीक आहे तर भारताचा माल बाहेरच्या देशामध्ये ट्रान्सपोर्ट करण्यात येतो थ्रू दी वॉटर वेज ओनली ठीक आहे मोड्स ऑफ ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन लिमिटेशन्स ओके नाव सम ऍडव्हान्टेजेस वी हॅव डिस्कस नाव वी विल डिस्कस द लिमिटेशन्स ऑफ दिस वॉटर ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन द डेप्थ अँड नेव्हॅगेलेबिलिटी ओके द डेप्थ अँड नेव्हिजॅबिलिटी येस करेक्ट वर्ड ऑफ द रिव्हर्स अँड कॅनल्स vary and thus it affects the operation of the different transport vessels okay we can't imagine how much depth of water will be there at each and every point whether it is remain to go uh, whether it is going to remain constant no not definitely okay pratyek thikani paniche ji depth asnare hi constant nasnare kute tari ti 10 meter khali asna paniche total depth asnare kute tari 9 meter asnare kute tari ti 4 meter varti sudha asu shakte at this you show ठीक आहे अजून पुढे जाताल कुठेतरी वीस मीटरही असू शकतं ठीक आहे आता जे एन पी टी पोर्ट मध्ये जो जिथे तुमच्या वेसल्स लँड होतात किंवा जिथे ते थांबतात ठीक आहे तिथे जी समुद्र ची जी खोली आहे ती आहे टोटल नाईन मीटर डेप्थ ठीक आहे आय एम टेलिंग यू सम ऍडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज आय हॅव व्हिजिटेड जे एन पी टी ऑलमोस्ट थ्री मोर दॅन थ्री टाइम्स ओके इन माय करिअर टिल डेट सो इट इज द Every year we are going to plan the visit of our students, civil engineering students to the JNPT. Okay. Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust. There they are going to see the biggest vessels which are, comes from the different countries and all that. So it is a slow moving mode of transportation. Yes, that is the biggest limitation that we are having. So not suitable for the transport of perishable goods. Okay. That is some urgent work. If we require, if we want to transport some material urgently to the Dubai, we are not going to use the waterway we, are, we can go for roadways or we uh, we can go for the airways that is the fastest mode of transportation okay it is adversely affected by the weather conditions very correctly said sea transport requires large investment on the ship and their maintenance okay it's a one time investment but that is on the higher side jahaz bandhni theke cost mothe asta ki ki aplya kada khup sare companies at like das offshore is there who is going to construct big vessels ships okay uh, so their manufacturing it is costlier one at initial stages it is having a high maintenance cost for the ship and the tickers as it requires constant repairs and painting of the ships okay so regular maintenance and painting will take your money that is what the limitation of that waterways i'm just discussing introductory part ah okay because there is a lots of there is so much to explain or so there is so much to discuss on this different four modes of transportation but as we are having some time constraint okay and with respect to our syllabus only we have to restrict ourselves so that is all about the waterways now the second mode of transportation is railways as you can see okay uh, can anybody tell me which is the biggest railway station in maharashtra in maharashtra cst cst okay can you tell me the number of platforms on the cst do you know this uh, general information okay because this su such questions are going to be uh, they are uh, likely to be asked in your competitive exams also okay 
TST. Okay, very good. Next, any other big railway station that we are having? Okay, if you don't know, I will tell you. In our Maharashtra, after the CST, India Madhya sir Gorakhpur. Okay, Sampurna Bharatla Gorakhpur is Sagrat Mota. Okay, where it is Gorakhpur? question Where it is situated Gorakhpur? Uttar Pradesh Madhya sir. UP. Okay, good. Chalo. So we will restrict ourselves up to the Maharashtra. Okay. If uh, as far as our Maharashtra is considered. Okay, okay, okay. So as far as our Maharashtra is considered, uh, we are having CST is there, the biggest uh, railway station. But along with the CST, we are having one more famous railway station, which is going to connect the uh, almost three to four different states of Maharashtra, and that is nothing but Bursawal Junction. Okay, I think everybody has heard this Bursawal. Okay, Bursawal Junction, I, I think almost more than 20 platforms. Okay, more than 20. And uh, CST, more than 25 platforms are there around. Okay, so these are the two major uh, railway stations that we're having in the eastern part. Okay, so Solapur is also a very important railway station. Railways. So, as we know, as far as railways are considered, which uh, what is our rank as far as railways are considered? I think in our in our chapter number one also we have discussed. See, India is having almost more than seventy thousand of the rail network connectivity. Okay, length of railway networks. So we stood at the second rank as far as our railway network is considered. Okay. Uh, this transport railways, the mode of transportation is advantageous for the long journey and to transport the goods and the passengers between the different stations. The roads can act as a feeder system to the to cater the traffic from various near and far places. Okay, so if you want to have a long journey, then definitely you will go for the railways. Okay. The energy required to haul a unit load through a dis unit distance is only a fraction of that required uh, haulage through the roadways. Now, what does it mean, this sentence? If you want to take uh, your goods or the passengers to a longer distance, then definitely the energy that has been consumed is on the higher side, is on the higher side, okay, as compared with the roads also. Advantages. It facilitates a long distance travel and transport of bulky goods, which are not easily transported through the motor vehicles. So if you want to travel, um, transport a big bulky goods or a big uh, particular, it may be any product. Okay. So you can go with the railways. You can go with the railways. It carry maximum load, though it consumes uh, maximum energy. We require big or uh, higher power. Okay. Can anybody tell me the CC of railway engine? Kiti the railway engine to CC? That is a CC my thing to Mala Kiti Astro. Activa or any other moped that is a Bakal to Mala my take Shambur to Savasha CC to other men. CC engine as the Tunja. Hmm? So, sir, railway so, engine, he Kiti CC as the Santelga. So, interesting facts apply to okay, the railway. The railway car is a two wheeler, four wheeler, two wheeler. The railway car is a heavy structure. It 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 It will not remain constant, but uh, some digits with you. It may be, I think it is around 100, uh, 1800 cc, 1800 cc engine is the railway, sir. You go in detail, you can search it on the internet and then you can tell me. Around 1800 cc, uh, 1800 cc engine is the railway, sir. Okay, 
So it helps us uh, in the industrialization process for a country by easy transportation of coal and raw materials at a cheaper rate. Now this is very important. Um, to transport the coal and other raw material from the various places, railways will be beneficial for us to transport it, okay? It helps us in the quick movement of the goods from one place to other, another place at the time of emergencies. At the time of emergencies, it also encourages the mobility of the labor and thereby provides a great scope for the employment. Okay, so railways again, these are the safest form of transportation. The chances of accidents and breakdown of railways are minimum as compared to the other modes of transport. Okay, however, again, this traffic can be more protected from the exposure of exposure to the sun or the rain snow. Again, that is the biggest advantage. Okay, it is the safest mode definitely because there is no uh, chances of the accidents or the breakdown of the railways. Okay, very rare. Once in a while, uh, there is going to uh, such things are going to happen. However, again, our traffic or the passengers, these are protected from the direct sun rays or the rain, uh, whatever the rainfall which is going to occur if you are traveling in the railways. Okay. That is the advantages. The carrying capacity, again, the plus point for the railways, uh, it is extremely large. Its capacity is elastic, which can be easily increased by adding more wagons. If you want to increase the capacity, carrying capacity of the railway, just add the wagons. Wagons means the railway are double. Okay? Wagons. The railway are double. That means the wagons are double. That means the technical side of the civil engineering system. That means the railway engineering. Okay? So it is the largest public undertaking in the country. It is the largest public undertaking in the country. The railways. Now disadvantages. Few we discuss. The railways require the large investment of the capital, definitely. The cost of construction, maintenance, and overhead expenses are very high as compared to the other modes of transportation. Now, in case the traffic is not sufficient, the investment may mean wastage of huge resources. When this is a railway, there is a local process. Definitely, there will be the huge loss of the particular resource okay that is your railways next i'm going a little bit faster huh? that is okay for you because these are the very simple part to understand i think if you find it any difficulty please let me know sir go slowly or likewise is it okay everyone yes sir yeah because it doesn't require some logical thinking huh? It's a simple part, straightforward. Read it. Advantages, disadvantages. What are the, um, what is meant by railway engineering? Only this part is there for your syllabus. Okay. Then, uh, railway transport is unsuitable and uneconomical for the short distances and small traffic of the goods. It involves much time and labor in booking and taking of delivery goods through the railways as compared to the motor transport. So if you want to transport the material from through the railways, it requires more time. Okay. High drawback of railway material. So they require so much time, almost a single railway or the Ekatik and Dusretik and Zala almost and not Charte Pad Usasa and Terla, Charte Pas the Usas Lakta. Okay. Charte Pas the Usmajaska. Fast mode of transportation with upon consider Kahi Pramanat Kurusha to Kai Praman Kurusha the current railway chaja Malvatu Gadas. They are going to take your time. Aditum some material heta Malvatu Gadan with the load killers at the Anitanantarte Javas subgrave adults to Chipul with the Tanantarte put up proceed with the So this uh, process will take some time, more time as compared with the roadways, and that is the drawback that railways are having. Okay. Because of the huge capital in uh, huge capital requirements and traffic, railways cannot be operated economically in the rural areas. Okay. Thus, the large rural areas have no railways even today, and that is the true fact. Okay. Then the most likely mode of transportation that you are having is nothing but roadways. We are going to discuss it. Okay. It's still half an hour. We are having twenty minutes. We are having so roadways 
Okay, so everyone knows uh, we are standing at the fourth rank, I think, as far as our roadways are considered. We are having more than 54 lakh kilometers of the road network, okay, in India presently in 2021. Okay, and our density to construct a road per day is also increased. In 2000 to 2004 up to, we are having just road density of 25 kilometers per day. Now, in 2021, that is reached up to 35 to 50 kilometers. In a single day, we are going to construct that much kilometers of the road. Okay. So the transportation by the road is the mode which can provide us door to door facility. Roadways, it is that mode of transportation which will provide you door to door step. So this is the most flexible mode of transportation. Everyone is going to use these roadways to reach the airports, harbor, railways. Anywhere. Okay. These are the cost effective modes. Roadways are ideal for the short distances. These are ideal for transporting perishable, that is, fruits and vegetables very quickly. Upon Gramin Bhagatum Bukusakalze Mustapeki Shet Malachi Gadi, Talukacha Place Lazate, Gilecha Place Lazate, Tiki, a plate, a plebagatli for a Pune Mumbai Lazata, the Rosata, Tiki. So, Kashamur possible, we are having a good road, uh, road network connectivity. Okay. Then, highways easy are easy to monitor and look, uh, monitor the location of the goods. Is it, it is easy to communicate with the driver also. Okay. That is again the biggest uh, benefit of this. Airways or the airways, uh, airports. Okay. That is the another mode of transportation. This is the most costliest mode of transportation. And the most fastest mode of transportation. Okay. Costly rahe and is the fastest mode of transportation manun consider kilajata. Okay. The transportation by the airways is the fastest among the four, and by the waterways is the slowest. Travel by air also provides more comfort. Just a minute. Why this slide is not running? Hello, my voice is audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That mouse is just scrolling. Unfortunately, I get disconnected. No, it is not. Okay, sure. So, yes. Advantages of the air transport, high speed, first, very uh, rightly said. It is the fastest mode of transportation. Okay. Quick service. If you want to go from one place to another place within a short time, you can go with the airways. No infrastructure investment. Kukka infrastructure lagat nahi. Just what you have to build, you have to build the airports. Okay, but the airport to mala construct karo lagte. Jitte tya aircraft sir landing ani take off hota sir. Easy access hai. Okay. No physical barrier. Okay. Have me dekha hai kuchle do ni mane ek me karna dhar kat ne kadi somoro somoro. Okay. So air the air transport is free from physical barriers as it follows the shortest and the direct routes. Okay, where seas, mountains, and forests do not obstruct. Natural route aircraft travels through any place without any natural obstacle. Again, this is a very important point. Okay. Again, advantage in case of the national defense, in case of war condition, airways will be the best one to take the heavy equipments which are used in the war, military operations. Okay, so airways will be beneficial in that case. Disadvantages risky. Why it is risky? Because our airways definitely weather conditions are going to affect. Okay. This makes a big impact on the weather conditions. Very costlier one. If you want to construct the airports or the aircrafts, these are the costlier one. Okay. Then small carrying capacity. Yes. You can't load a, uh, you can't take a load of more than 1000 tons. Okay. So we are not going to um, put extra load on that particular aircraft. Unreliable because it depends on the weather forecast. Definitely. If weather uh, conditions are not good or are not favorable, we can't go with this mode of transportation. Huge investment is also required. Okay. Uh, yes. 
So the question which is asked in our previous question paper, okay, explain the characteristics of the road transportation in comparison with the other system that is comparison. Okay, now we can see the comparison of the roadways and the railways. Okay, first is point of comparison is suitability. Traffic by bicycles, motors, scooters in the railways, traffic is only done by the trains. Width of right of way, it requires uh, required more. For the railways, very less width of right way. Okay. Now, what is right of way? What is right of way? In first unit, we have completed na, roads in embankment and roads in cutting. In that, we have discussed this component. Right of way. What is right of way? Fast. Visarle, Maksa. Yes, what is the right of way? Explain it. Area or land required for the construction of and development of road along the line mean. Okay, how can you explain it in Marathi? Marathi madhe kaise sangta lela? Right of way mujhe prastachi sampoorna rundi. Okay, if you remember my lecture. ओके रस्त्याची संपूर्ण रुंदी जी आवश्यक असते त्याला राईट ऑफ वे असं म्हटलं जातं ठीक आहे रेल्वे मध्ये ती फार कमी लागते आपल्याला राईट ऑफ वे कंपनीज वॉइस इज डिस्टर्बिंग प्रणाली रेल्वे मध्ये खूप कमी लागणार आहे ट्रॅक्टिव रेजिस्टन्स इथे हाय आहे इथे लो आहे नाउ व्हॉट इज ट्रॅक्टिव रेजिस्टन्स व्हॉट इज ट्रॅक्टिव रेजिस्टन्स बघा आपण एसटी मध्ये किंवा ट्रक मध्ये लोड कॅरी केला लोड कॅरी केल्यानंतर डेफिनेटली द फ्रिक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी मोर बिटवीन द टायर अँड द रोड सर्फेस बट ऍज कम्पेअर्ड इन युअर रेल्वे तो कमी असणार आहे कारण ऑलरेडी रेल्वेचा स्वतःच सेल्फ इट खूप जास्त राहतो ठीक आहे आणि हे त्याचे जे व्हील्स असतात ते सुद्धा स्टील हेवी व्हील्स असतात सो देर इज लेस ट्रॅक्टिव्ह रेजिस्टन्स टर्निंग डिवायसेस रोडवेज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड रेल्वेज मध्ये मात्र टर्निंग डिवायसेस आवश्यकच आहे इकॉनॉमी दॅट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी लेस कन्स्ट्रक्शन अँड मेंटेनन्स कॉस्ट रेल्वेज मध्ये हायर कन्स्ट्रक्शन आणि मेंटेनन्स कॉस्ट आहे रेट ऑफ ऍक्सिडेंट रोडवेज सगळ्यात जास्त आहे रेल्वेज मध्ये कम्पेरेटिव्हली लोअर डोअर टू डोअर सर्व्हिस रोडवेज मध्ये प्रोव्हाइड केली जाते रेल्वेज मध्ये ती प्रोव्हाइड केली जात नाही ठीक आहे Now, comparison of the roadways with the airways. Again, the same points to discuss. First is suitability. Suitability, traffic is done by the bicycle, scooters or the motors. Airways, traffic is done It is done by only through the planes, that is aircrafts and through the helicopters. Okay. Width of right way required more. It is also required, but uh, comparative, uh, very similar to the roadways. Okay. Karan, runway is the language is इस्ट इंटरनॅशनल स्टँडर्ड नुसार असते आपल्याकडे एअरपोर्ट चे सहा प्रकार आहेत ए बी सी डी ई एफ अशा सॉरी पाच प्रकार आहेत एअरपोर्ट चे ठीक आहे त्यामध्ये त्या रनवेची जी रुंदी असते ठीक आहे ती रुंदी डिसाईड केलेली असते पंचेचाळीस मीटर साठ मीटर पंचेचाळीस मीटर तीस मीटर समथिंग लाईक दिस ओके सो ती रुंदी सुद्धा फिक्स असणार आहे सो इट इज सिमिलर टू दी रोडवेज ट्रॅक्टिव्ह रेजिस्टन्स दोन्हीकडे हाय आहे कारण घर्षण टायर फ्रिक्शन जे होणार होत आहे हे जास्त होत आहे दोन्हीकडे पण टर्निंग डिवायसेस इन एअरवेज आपल्याला काही आवश्यकता लागत नाही रोडवेज ऑल्सो इकॉनॉमी डेफिनेटली रोडवेज कमी खर्च लागतोय एअरवेज ला खूप जास्त लागतोय रेट ऑफ ऍक्सिडेंट डेफिनेटली रोडवेज मध्ये सुद्धा आहेत आणि एअरवेज मध्ये सुद्धा आहेत रेट ऑफ ऍक्सिडेंट ठीक आहे कुठेतरी अचानक विमान कोसळत आहे ड्रायव्हर कॅप्टनचं काहीतरी फॉल्ट होत आहे किंवा वेदर कंडिशन आर नॉट फेवरेबल ठीक आहे किंवा अचानक लँडिंग होतानाच विमान कुठेतरी कोसळत आहे आय थिंक लास्ट फ्यू मंथ बिफोर ना इन दॅट इज इन ड्युरिंग दिस पॅन्डेमिक सिच्युएशन मे बी इन मंथ ऑफ एप्रिल मे समवेअर ठीक आहे एक खूप मोठी एअरक्राफ्टची ट्रॅजेडी झालेली होती ठीक आहे द नो ट्रॅजेडी द बिग ऍक्सिडेंट वॉज गोइंग टू अकर नियर नियर आय थिंक इट इज इन केरला इन द स्टेट ऑफ केरला आय डोंट नो आय जस्ट फॉरगेट द एक्झॅक्ट लोकेशन बट समवेअर इन केरला okay door to door transportation uh, roadways are going to provide railways airways are not going to provide okay so that is all about the 
introductory part related to the modes of transportation. Now we have just completed roadways, railways, airways, and that is in the waterways. Okay, introductory part related to these modes of transportation. Now, after this, we will heading towards the docks and harbors and tunnel portion. Okay, tunnel, tunnel engineering. Again, that part is also there in your syllabus. Okay, so let me share the new screen with you, but I will just take, okay, it's 2.45 already. Mm, what to do? Shall we start it in next lecture or shall we continue? Because five to seven minutes are required for the attendance purpose. Shall we go with it? Sir, to me, Kalman de Lazo, so, Kosla, the Rimido, Dakuna Rota. Okay. Mm. Just a minute. Huh? I will uh, send that video to the uh, what can I say? your uh, Gmail account and then I will try. Just hold it on. I'm having that video with me. Just check it. Okay, it is with me. Just a minute, I will share it. Mm. It's a 16 MB uh, video of that uh, whole construction activity. And it was in black and white, huh? okay. because that was uh, take a, that was prepared in that particular time, at that particular time. So it will take time to come into that uh, Gmail account because it's a 16 MB and internet speed is very low at this moment. Okay, so if possible in today's or not in the, if it uh, today it is not possible, then definitely tomorrow's lecture. We are having tomorrow another lecture nah? in the evening session. So at that point, time also, I can show you the video of that coin Adam. Coin Adam a video. Hai to. There is to shoot Kalila. Kashapadatine construction activities with a coin Adam. I think it will take some time because it is uh, right now it is in my outbox. Okay, pending email. So it will take some time. So meanwhile, we will go with the yes, next part of our discussion tunnel engineering. Where is the tunnel? Yes. My screen is visible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, as you can see, the next point that we are going to discuss is nothing but the tunnel engineering or the tunnels. Okay. Now, what are these tunnels? If you want to learn in detail. So, the tunnels are the underground passages which are used for the transportation. They could be used for carrying out the freights, passengers, water, or the sewage. For any purpose, we, are, we can use these tunnels. The methods involved are underground operations known as tunnel driving methods and the surface is not disturbed. Okay. 
now basically this tunnel uh, construction of this tunnel okay it is the oldest one but that is the tedious job it's a most complicated job that we have okay because so many risk factors that we have to consider soil conditions jithe tumhi tunnel khanna rahat jithe tumhi bogda tar karna rahat theek hai tithle soil conditions jar te weak asel to kay nahi sagla ekatra ho shakto theek hai tithe khup moti hani ho shakto जर तुम्हें डोंगर मे एखा टनेल कर हार्ड रॉक मस है एकदम तो अशा केस मध्य कस टनेल ड्राइविंग कस तो टनेल कंस्ट्रक्ट के पाजे सो टनेल कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी इट इज नॉट दैट मच सीम्पल विच वी आर थिंकिंग ओके इट्स अ कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड टेडियस प्रोसेस दैट वी हैव सो सम टनेल दैट आई शोन थेम्स टनेल इन लंडन ओल्डेस्ट वन ओके एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द टनेल्स द टनेल्स आर मोर इकोनॉमिकल दैन ओपन कट्स बियॉन्ड द सर्टन डेप्स ठीक है म्हणजे डोंगर पोखरून रस्ता करण्यापेक्षा डोंगर फोडून दोन डोंगर आहेत आणि तो डोंगर फोडलाय आणि त्यानंतर तो रस्ता तयार केलाय त्यापेक्षा कधी कधी हे टनेल कन्स्ट्रक्ट केलेले कधी फायदेशीर राहतात ठीक आहे आता आपण टनेल्स कुठे प्रोवाइड करतो रे बेसिकली जर तुम्हाला शॉर्टेस्ट पॉसिबल रूट जर तयार करायचा असेल ठीक आहे आणि हिली एरियाज मधून जर जात असेल आणि जर तुम्ही तिथे जर हार्ड रॉक मास असेल आणि तिथे जर तुम्ही टनेल कन्स्ट्रक्ट करू शकत असतो म्हणजे साईट सुटेबल असेल टनेल साठी तर डेफिनेटली वी विल गो फॉर दी टनेल्स ठीक आहे भारतामध्ये खूप सारे ठिकाणी टनेल्स आहेत तुम्ही पुणे मुंबई एक्सप्रेस वे बघा ऑलमोस्ट देर आर एट टू नाईन टनेल्स ठीक आहे आठ ते नऊ बोगदे लागतात तुम्हाला जाताना ठीक आहे दिस टनेल्स हेल्प अस टू रिड्यूस द डिस्टन्स ठीक आहे असा वळसा घालून म्हणजे तो डोंगर जो आहे तर डोंगराला असं पूर्ण वळसा घालून जाण्यापेक्षा तो डोंगर फोडून त्याच्यातून जर रस्ता तयार केला तर डिस्टन्स रिड्यूस होत आहे ठीक आहे सो टू फॉर द शॉर्टनिंग ऑफ द डिस्टन्स दिस टनेल्स आर व्हेरी इकॉनॉमिकल अँड दिस आर व्हेरी हँडी टूल्स ओके हे खूप बेनिफिशियल राहतात युज करण्यासाठी टनेल्स अवॉर्ड द डिस्टर्बिंग्स अँड इंटरफेअरिंग विथ द सर्फेस लाईफ अँड द ट्रॅफिक ड्युरिंग दी कन्स्ट्रक्शन ठीक आहे दिस टनेल्स प्रूव्ह टू बी चीपर दॅन द ब्रिजेस ओपन कट्स to carry the public utility services like water sewer and the gas okay the water line as the sewer line as the or gas ch line as the through the tunnels okay we can uh, provide it okay if the tunnels are provided with the easy gradients the cost of hauling is also decreased okay economics uh, we are not going detail okay selection of route for the tunnel kashab paddhatine ekadhi tunnel che site tumhi select keli pahije alignment resistance okay par sagalat mahatvachi gosht manje alignment so the underground press uh, space is a heterogeneous mass and in addition problems like water table position of the fractured rocks are to be tackled me jasa tumhala sangitla tunnel construction activity itki sopi nahi hai karan tumhala jar dongar pokhrayach asel kiwa to tatla ekada section cut karun tyachat jar tumhala tunnel construct karaycha asel bogda tar karaycha asel tar tithe aslela soil check conditions kiwa rock mass tar rock mass madhe kuthe cracks gelele ahet ka kiwa ज्या ठिकाणी तुम्ही टनेल तर कन्स्ट्रक्ट करणार असाल तिथं वॉटर टेबल काय म्हणजे पाण्याची क्षमता किती आहे त्या रॉक मास मध्ये किंवा त्या सॉईल मध्ये वी नीड टू मॉनिटर ऑल दिस व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग्स ठीक आहे अ थरो अ थ्रू डिटेल इन्स्पेक्शन अँड इव्होल्युशन ऑफ द एक्झिस्टिंग अलाइनमेंट रिस्टेंट ऑफ द अलाइनमेंट अंडरग्राउंड स्पेस अँड दॅट इज वाय दिस टनल ऍक्टिव्हिटी दॅट इज ड्युरिंग दिस टनल ऍक्टिव्हिटी वी हॅव टू कीप अ फोकस ऑन दि environmental conditions which are present when you are going to cut that section okay whether some cracks are there to that rock mass what is the water table in that particular soil or the rock mass we need to address it environmental conditions the site of the tunnel should be selected in such a way that the least difficulty is experienced for various environmental factors such as disposal of exhaust gas so galat mahatvacha hai tunnel madhe ground water and mucking mucking manje je kai mati kiwa soil excavate kartat ti uchlun dusra tikani takne thik hai ala mucking operation asa mantla jata thik hai so tunnel mantla ki sagalat mahatvacha problem asto jo aplyala tackle karava lagto to to adhik sodava lagto to asto disposal of the exhaust gases thik hai तुम्ही बघितलं असेल कुठल्या टनेल मध्ये गेला तुम्हाला एक्झॉस्ट फॅन दिसतात ठिकठिकाणी बसवलेले असतात ठीक आहे कारण बोगदा आहे ठीक आहे तिथे ऑक्सिजनची लेवल कमी जास्त होऊ शकते त्या टनेल मध्ये त्या प्रवाशांना तिथे डिफिकल्टी येऊ नये त्याच्यामुळे ते एक्झॉस्ट गॅसेस असतात किंवा जे काही दूषित जे काही इतर डिझॉल्ड गॅसेस आहेत त्या पर्टिक्युलर रिजन मध्ये ठीक आहे दॅट विल मेक अन इम्पॅक्ट ऑन युअर बॉडी ठीक आहे 
सो टू अवॉइड दैट देर शुड बी प्रॉपर अरेजमेंट टू डिस्पोज ऑल द एक्सॉस्ट गैसेस तुम्हारे किचन मे जस एक्सॉस्ट फैन बसवे जे कालकट वगैरह जे कहीं तलन तो धूर बाहर पड़ने तसचे एक्सॉस्ट गैसेस ठीक है एक्सॉस्ट वॉल्व टनेल्स मध्य तो गैस बाहर पड़ने ठीक है मेथड्स ऑफ द टनेल वी आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू डिस्कस बट स्टील आई विल गिव यू सम स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट रिलेटेड टू दिस टनेल्स ओके सो इट्स टू फिफ्टी सिक्स इन माइ क्रॉक सो आई विल स्टॉप युअर एट दिस पर्टिक्युलर मुमेंट ओके I will start taking your attendance, and then uh, yes. Now it is uh, come to the my Gmail account. So tomorrow definitely I will show you that video of the corner dam construction. Okay. So for this moment, I will start taking your attendance. If you have any doubt, please unmute yourself, and you can discuss with me. Puna location ka acha part madhe. If not, I'm start taking your attendance.